Alan Sands is a third generation magician. He has basically been doing magic since before he was born. His mother's a ventriloquist. And he has been all over 46 states, seven countries, 10 county fairs, cruise ships, you name it, he's been there. He has come all the way to, to join us from the San Francisco Bay Area. Ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, Alan Sands. Yay! What a good looking audience. What a quality audience. All the quality people, give yourself an applause, a round of applause. And those of you that aren't quality, go ahead, give an applause too. Thank you. Hey, I made a prediction. I made a prediction, and we're going to set this out here with, uh, let's see, you. You seem to be paying attention. So we'll give that to you. Don't look at it. Don't open it. Just leave it there. We'll come back to that later. And uh, if your chair is not facing me at this moment, you actually want to stand up, turn your chair around, and face me, because I'm narcissistic, and the next 45 minutes is all about me. <laughs> Other way, I don't know if you have a chiropractor in this town, but you know, sitting there watching the show this way is not going to be real comfortable. Anyway, I'm going to make one quick balloon animal because when I was 10 years old, my dad wrote the encyclopedia of balloon animal sculpturing, and I make over 100 different animals. Name an animal. A tiger. A dog. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> they all look like dogs. Uh, he's Jewish. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm Jewish. <laughs> See, look, I got a Jufro. <laughs> I got lost for 40 years trying to find this place. <laughs> Actually, he's French. He has an attitude. <laughs> and internet. If you cut off his nose, he won't smell. And his name is Jupy the Wonder Dog. He's my mascot, yeah. And uh, you know why I call him Jupy? Because that's his name. <laughs> now, I named him Jupy because I go home every night and I look at him and I say, So, did you pee? He's trained, he barks. He stands, stand up. He does headstands. Wow. He can lay down. Lay down. Want to see him play dead? No, dead dogs are good, actually. You should keep one. They're good for cleaning the bathroom. They make good pot holders and door stops. And... We'll make them bigger. Then we'll actually start the show. We're just waiting for a few stragglers to get in here and make themselves comfortable. Get the alcoholics away from the bar. <laughs> He's Jewish. <laughs> I call it a heart with a dog on. <laughs> well, see, if you don't laugh at that, I know where to cut the show. So. They gave me permission to be PG, but I figured that's for you. It's twelve dollars. I'm Jewish. <laughs> anyway, um, my name is Alan. It is a four-letter word. If you ask either of my ex-wives, and uh, my dad called me son. I later found out that that's short for something else. I do live near San Francisco. To answer your next question, no. <laughs> My husband is. <laughs> Actually, I'm from New York originally, so at times I do not smile, but I am having a good time. And uh, I am trying to get used to the new pronouns. I have nibblings now. Uh, they used to be nephews and nieces. Now they're nibblings. And uh, my girlfriend, who I've been dating for seven years, tells me that she's a lady, so she goes by she, her. She reminds me that I'm a hee-haw, because I'm a jackass. And anyway, I'd like to show you a rope trick. It's my favorite trick. I call it a rope trick because I use a rope. This is a rope. It has two ends, one on each. To make this difficult, I cut one end off. Now it has one end. So over here, we'll cut this end off. Now it has no ends. Now all that's left is the middle. That's your between. I take the middle, I cut the middle. I call this part cutting the middle. Are there any questions? <laughs> Sir, how many ends? Four. That's wrong. Take off your clothes. <laughs> you don't take off your clothes. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> no, 
They were all laughing. They've seen you without your clothes. <laughs> No, no, we only have two ends. We cut two ends off, then I cut the middle. That did give us two new ends. So if I cut this end off, and I trim this end away, then we have no ends, no middle. All we have is a rope. That's our first major applause. Good job. You did no applaud, sir. You'll have to do it a lot. We're doing a rope trick. Let's see, uh, we'll start over here. Here, you catch the rope? Examine it. Make sure there's no hidden trap doors, secret compartments, Velcro, chewing gum, green things your friends used to wipe on you. Hold it over your head so everyone can see it. Let's stand up so everyone can see it. No, when you come up here, let's give my hands a volunteer. Hi, right, what's your name? Where are you from? Never mind. Nobody cares. Yeah. You get the scissors, Jason. All right. Um, tell me when to stop. Somewhere in the middle. Stop. Good, cut the rope in half. Excellent. We use two perfectly equal length. Oh, we're close, that's okay. We'll stretch it. Okay. We use two perfectly equal length pieces of rope to cut that end off. Make it even. Thank you. Right. We use two perfectly equal. No, no, cut that end off. We use two perfectly. It's my fault. I picked you. <laughs> We're going to start all over, Jason. If I ask you to cut it in half, try and find the middle. Yeah, we'll tie the ends together. Now, of course, you can't tie the ends together. You know why? Ask him. How many ends? None. That's right. No ends. No middle, just a rope. There, you cut the rope in half. Good, now we have two ends. All we need is a middle, then we'll start the trick. Yeah, if Jason was to cut this rope at the exact opposite side of the knot, the knot would be in the middle, the middle would be at the ends. You have any idea what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> no, it's okay, just cut the rope. Not my fingers. Yeah, the rope's white. I am pink. That's the middle, that's perfect. <laughs> I don't know who you're gonna be an accountant for, but here, hold this. See, I wanted the knot over here. Uh, I didn't need the knot down there. We needed two equal length pieces so they could do the trick, but now we have this tiny piece sliding back and forth. We'll untie it. You hold on to the tiny piece. Do everything that I do. Tie your ends together. Then take the scissors, cut the rope in half. I don't trust you anymore. I'll use my fingers. They're safer, sharper. Coil it up into a little ball, put it all back together. But while he's doing that, every morning I get up, I tie my shoelaces, and I get the ends caught inside. Does this ever happen to you? No. <laughs> no, it does. Here, look, grab your knot, pull on both ends. That'll make the knot come out. And don't pull on your knots too much. You'll go blind. <laughs> if he pulls on his knots, he'll go blind. <laughs> Sometimes they go deaf. <laughs> They're cut the rope in half. <laughs> Excellent. Cut the rope in quarters. Cut the rope in pieces. <laughs> I went to public school. Here, you get the ropes. I get the scissors. You put the ropes back together. All right, Jason. Now puts the ropes completely back together again. This is great. I've never done this before. You got it, Jason. <laughs> so it takes a while. I'll help. I have a tacky magician's bag. All tacky magicians have them. All right. You're going to put all the ropes into the bag? Yeah, yeah all the ropes. Jason's getting an attitude. <laughs> All right, we'll get some magic whistle dust. Won't be doing this much longer, will we, Jason? <laughs> Here, hold this over your head, pretend you're a tourist. Great. I'm going to get a gun. I'm going to shoot the little bag. The red bag. 
not the old bag. <laughs> this restores the rope. The rope flies out of the bag, changes into a beautiful bird. The bird flies around the audience. And it poops on your head. Anyway. Do you feel foolish? <laughs> Do you feel foolish? No. How many people think Jason looks silly? <laughs> Not a lot of love here. <laughs> your wife right here. I assume it's your wife. She's a lot cuter than the three you were here with yesterday. <laughs> what? Two. Great. I got a magic wand. <laughs> Sometimes again doesn't work. I wish. <laughs> I shot my turtle. He was a ninja turtle. Look, now he's a mutant. I guess it was no big loss. Yeah. <laughs> look at the back! <laughs> oh, look, Jason did this when I wasn't looking. Oh. <laughs> Tell you what, you've been a good sport. We're going to keep you up here one more moment. Give him a round of applause, though. Because, uh... Jason, we're going to ask you to walk over there. We're going to get rid of this microphone. It's not needed at this moment. And, uh... I'm going to ask you to walk over there and inside that yellow folder, go ahead and open the yellow folder. We'll set this over here where they can find it later. Go ahead. You'll, you'll find a self-portrait I did. Yeah, you want to pull that out and show everyone? That's great. This is a self-portrait of me. <laughs> and there's magic markers there. You're going to, I'm going to walk over here and you're going to select a magic marker. Okay? Just, um, Put the, close the folder, put the picture on top, and select the magic marker. Okay. And let's see, I want you to um, let me think. I want you to paint his shorts. Paint my shorts with that marker. You don't have to color it in all the way, just color it in real good though. <laughs> just set that marker on the side somewhere. Pick another color. Okay. And I want you to paint the hat. Paint the hat. Alright. Set that marker on the side and pick another color. And I want you to paint the suspenders. The suspenders. Alright. And put that on the side. And then pick another color. Okay. And paint the shirt. Paint the shirt. And how are we doing? You have another marker? Yes, two. All right, pick one. Okay. Paint the socks. The socks. Okay. And the last marker. I think all that's left is the tie. Yes. Yeah, go ahead and paint the tie. Yeah, let's see how you did. Hold it up so everyone can see your artwork. That's lovely. Oh, it's good. It's good. Hey, I made a prediction earlier today. Oh, you have the prediction. Would you mind opening up the envelope? Pull out the prediction. And what's that say? Let's see. We got orange socks. Orange socks. Yeah. Can, can I hold it up, or do you mind standing here and just hold it up for everyone to see? Sure. There you go. We got orange socks. We got green shorts. 
Uh, it's a blue shirt, right? Yeah, and the yellow tie. And what do we missing? Red suspenders and a black hat. That's great. Oh, good, good, good. It works. Uh, you can have a seat for now, thanks. Actually, you know what? You, you get to keep this. I'll sign it for you, and that way you have a souvenir. And uh, we'll come back to that later, actually. And uh, Jason, yes, art, gifts, presents, prizes. <laughs> so what should we do now? I've never done this far. <laughs> actually, it's my favorite time in the show when I go out into the audience and I find a beautiful volunteer. One selected totally at random. It's amazing how when we pick her, the entire audience erupts into spontaneous applause. <laughs> we'll teach her not to text while she's watching my show. Pick me! Pick me! Don't worry, just we're going to embarrass and humiliate you. And then you'll move to, whatever, uh, you'll move in with Jason. Okay, I'm fine. I'm it's okay. With you. I promise. Don't be too bad. The ratio of men to women here is terrible, though. Have a seat. Watch out! Oh, she trusts me. These go on your lap. They keep the drippings off your clothes. What's your name? Molly. Molly, really? That was my name when I was a little girl. Yeah. We're going to open this up. And are you married? No. Oh, good. I love this. Yes. <laughs> okay. Don't lean back. Oh, ah. Uh -huh. I went to this cheap dentist, the guy brought me to the airport for x-rays. Uh, you know what that is? So we're going to play pick a hand, okay? It's like your uncle used to play with the candy. Here, I'll place the napkin in one of my hands, you pick a hand. That's good, you're quick. We'll try it again. We'll place it in one of the hands, you pick a hand. Do you even trust me? We'll try it one more time. We'll place it in one of the hands, you pick a hand. No, nope. you get one more chance. We'll try another napkin. <laughs> right, make a little ball out of the napkin. We'll place it right inside one of the hands. No, two more chances. That's one. You're gullible. Good. This. We'll try two napkins. <laughs> this one's napkin number one, and this one we'll call napkin number two. two. Uh, university stuff. <laughs> Like a television woman. Hobble number one, you open your hand. Open your hand, the clean one. <laughs> Wipe the booger off. <laughs> Close your hand. Do you know the difference between Brussels sprouts and boogers? Jason doesn't like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> do as I do, go. <laughs> Mine's gone. Open your hand. Oh. How'd you get two of them? I'll do the tricks. We'll try three napkins. Right, this one's number one. Open your hand. This one's number two. This one we call late for dinner. How many napkins? Three. No one was late. Here, one, two, watch. Watch. How many? Two. No, no watch. I don't wear a watch. <laughs> you know, when I was six years old, my dad asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I said I wanted a watch. So he let me. <laughs> We'll place the hat in one of the hands. She'll go for this. Do a lot of things go over your head. <laughs> oh wait, there's still a napkin. Okay, unfold it. Make it really big. All the way. Good, tear it in half. Nice, even, straight line right down the middle. You've done this before. You know, when there's one piece of toilet paper. <laughs> okay, do as I do. Tear it in two, tear it in four. You do this too. Tear it in pieces. And the other piece too. Sure. You're very methodical. <laughs> Crumple it up. Do exactly what I do. Don't worry, they're clean. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, you want that one. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. Pop,
And it's wonderful that you all came out to support it. And I don't know what they do with the money. 
but uh, they were talking about new uniforms for someone. <laughs> and, uh, what's your name, sir? Greg. Greg. Do you know his wimpy name? We'll call you Nancy. Take the jacket. Unbuckle the jacket. Greg, notice how the buckles work. These are not your everyday run-of-the-mill buckle. It is a straight jacket buckle. I bought this from a hospital supply store out of Los Angeles. Couldn't find one in San Francisco. It's a straight jacket. I can't tell that joke at home. All right, that's okay. I wanted to show you real quickly that the hingey, when you're strapping me in, you're gonna put it under here, awkwardly, over the teeth, goes in the other side, what do you do for a living? Farm. Farm. You'll figure it out then. <laughs> oh, you'd be amazed in the city. Huh? <laughs> okay, start at the top. Work your way down. Yank on those straps, Greg. Hurt me, big boy. <laughs> Show me who my daddy is. <laughs> there he <is. laughs> So Houdini was like amazing. Houdini, a hundred years ago, would suspend, sus suspend himself 150 feet in the air, upside down, in a straitjacket. Then they would set the rope on fire. Yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> Instead, I give myself a time limit. I will get out of the straitjacket in one minute, or I will eat razor blades. You'll notice there's one buckle going up and down. Leave that one for last. Go down and do the one from side to side at the bottom. I've either gained weight or you're doing them tight. <laughs> Probably both. <laughs> right, I'll swing it back to you. <laughs> whoa, 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 back, 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 back. We have special instructions. <laughs> you may pull on the strap of doom, never yank on the strap of doom. I like it when you pull on it, just not when you yank on it. <laughs> All right, down the arms. Kiss me. Kiss me. Sorry, flashbacks. <laughs> I went to Penn State. <laughs> that one's aging, but it still works. <laughs> All right, you have a watch? Yes. Second hand? Yes. Why don't you get a new one? <laughs> All right. You're gonna time me, okay? You're gonna yell out the time every 10 seconds. Every 10 seconds. 10, 20, you're gonna say start when, when I tell you. And then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. When you say 50, they'll all join in. 51, 52, 53, 54. If you have trouble, ask the ladies for help. <laughs> right, I'll get out in 60 seconds. Tell me when to start. It's the hand that goes really fast. <laughs> separates the men. That's it. Just <laughs> 40. Oh no. Definitely a little bit behind schedule. 50. That was good. Time. 56 seconds. Alright. Greg's gonna try and beat my record. <laughs> Stay up here for one more moment. I need you to help me one more time. Seems like I do everything twice with everybody isn't tonight. It's kinda of cool. You know how much of a gut. My secret? I bought my clothes one size too small. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> so, uh, he's got a crap, he thought that was good. <laughs> so, you know, Houdini was like, he would take a hundred needles, and he would swallow them. Then he would swallow this long length of cotton thread, and he would pull the thread out of his throat with all the needles tied onto it. He's dead now. <laughs> I don't do that. Instead, you, Greg, are going to select one of these razor blades. Please be careful, they are sharp. And I didn't use Jason for this because he doesn't use razor blades. <laughs> Hold on to these with the other hand. We'll see just how sharp those razor blades are. Ooh, the Joker. <laughs> The Chosen One. It's another Jewish reference. <laughs> it's not much of one, but Greg, are they sharp? The other side. Greg, are they sharp? I'd say so. Are they sharper than the pretty lady with the napkins? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I get like the razor blades. You, sir, get a big round of applause for helping. Thank you. I'm going to eat these five razor blades. I'm sorry, four razor blades. Five would be stupid. <laughs> I like to do this at children's birthday parties. No, I mean, teach them things like, don't do this at home. Go to Greg's house. <laughs> Eating them is easy. It's passing them. <laughs> it's a chic joke. <laughs> Don't Gillette <it> get to you. <laughs> that was funny and wild. <laughs> I'm flossing. Because they taste like chic. Juggling. Juggling is good for families to do together. You can throw things at each other. I call this next piece juggling on a motorcycle. It's a Kawasaki. Select it totally at random. Seth, come on down. And Millet? 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 Something like that. You know who he is. Get up here, Millet. Yes. And then we have Kyle and Alec. Four volunteers selected totally at random. Gentlemen, have a seat anywhere you'd like. Round of applause for our volunteers. We're going to have a balloon blowing contest. It's like that police officer taught you. <laughs> Just slide it up there so you're there with everybody else. There you go. I want to see you. 
We're going to meet our contestants. Find out who they are. Your name, sir? Kyle. Kyle, you're from where? Hartley. Hartley, let's hear for Hartley. You get two blue ones. Yes, your name, sir? Seth. Seth, from? Same. Same. We live together. You get two orange balloons. Let's hear for Same. Your name, sir? Milo. Milo, from? Hartley. Hartley. That's kind of weird. <laughs> they all live together. Okay. Hartley. Yeah. Milo. Your name, sir? Alec. Alec. You're from? Same. Same. Two great balloons. One more time. <laughs> Ladies, in case you get lucky. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, the rules of this game are very simple. On the count of three, you're going to blow up that balloon. Till it pops, then you blow up the second one till it pops. The first person that pops both balloons will win a matching salt and pepper shaker from In and Out Burger. <laughs> hey, you can't get these in Iowa. <laughs> All right. One or two little pointers. Pointer number one is that you're not allowed to pinch a balloon. Pointer number two is that you should never pinch a gentleman. Well, never mind. I'll carry you all from the same town. Right. Pointer number three is that they're all big men. They're all strong men. This man here jogs to work every day. Five miles. Up hill, both ways, in the snow, naked. We don't like to see follows him on his bicycle. And he has home videos he'll be showing you right after my show. <laughs> this gentleman on weekends wrestles sheep. <laughs> see, in Iowa they laugh. In Montana they look at me and go, yeah, so. <laughs> no, it's true. This man is a bodybuilder. Auto body. <laughs> All right, any of them could be athletes, any of them could be on a respirator. So we bring along equalizers. You get one. You get one. Grab one. Pull gently. Yes. Here you go. You two gents get one. Stand up, men. Set the pump on your chair. <laughs> Sit back down again. <laughs> 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 Yes, we're all going to do it the man's way. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, these balloons are going to get really big before they pop. Little pieces fly all over. So in the interest of safety, I always have protective headgear for everybody. We uh, all know that masks protect us. So we have masks. Everybody, this is why cousins should never get married. You got oh, oh, what is that? <laughs> Didn't come out. <laughs> um, this is why some animals eat their young. <laughs> this is why you don't smoke the front lawn when you're pregnant. And you get to make up your own. <laughs> you all have an integral part in the show at this moment, though. You all get to count to three together. Everybody counts. Here we go. One. Two, three, and they're all from pumping. Look at them go. They're neck and neck, I'll tell you. They ain't no serious salt and pepper from California when they see it. <laughs> so a few other places. Yeah, that's not funny. Coming from the rear, he's going to back. He's going to pass the ball. Uh, keep an eye on Donkey. Jeez. Oh, great. The rock went up. And that's why they tie a baby's belly button. Just blow things up with your mouth, cheap, please. Oh, my pump away. I gotta fix that. I have a career, you know. <laughs> Who's your first? I missed it. Oh, the blue. I see. Now you got the broken balloon down there. Yeah, it's me. I have another one. Pop it, dude. Look at that. All right, we got second place over here coming in. Donkey, come on, hurry up. Oh, good, it's going to be close. It's a tie in third place. Going for first, looking for second. 
Could be anyone's game at any moment. You just never know. <laughs> Hurry up, Donkey. We're pumping up the balloon too. <laughs> You're not Catholic, are you? <laughs> we got first place. Let me for a second. <laughs> you got the salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> Don't go away, we're not done yet. I'll take that from you. You lost. Well. <laughs> what the heck? We're all getting up ship here. Alright, throw your masks in there. Just make a basket. There you go. Take your pumps, throw them in there. And don't go away yet. I still need you for another moment. And uh, let's see. I've got to move this back. Yeah, well, it wasn't you. Couldn't have been you. Uh, stand up, gentlemen. Let's see. We're going to leave that chair there. Leave that chair there. Yeah, you broke the chair. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Actually, I'll show you how to repair these. I've broken my fair share of them. <laughs> good as new. All right, good. <laughs> I know. I give good chair. Right. You, sir, you're going to sit in this chair facing the audience. Don't move the chair, just sit there. Good. You're going to come on over here, sit in this chair facing that way. You're going to face the back wall. Perfect. And you're going to face that way. Yes. Excellent. Good. Everyone, scooch just an inch forward on your chair. Yep. Two inches, three inches forward on your chair. Yeah. And now move back. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, All right, lift your butt up. Lift your butt up. I'll kiss you in front of everyone. Save the socks for? Orange. Orange. <laughs> Look at orange socks. <laughs> and <laughs> whoa. Very uncomfortable. You green shorts. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>